At least 50 school districts here in Texas have decided to change to a four-day school week. But as Fox's Lori Brown reports, the move has its advantages and disadvantages. I think what it's actually doing is saving the district money because there's less utility costs. There's you, you run the buses one day less a week. But Dr. Chris Sloan, associate dean of the College of Education at Tarleton State University, says the savings could come at a cost. A four-day school week would mean either longer school days, shorter summers, or a potentially harmful option, teachers spending less time with students. The idea of three-day weekends sounding nice in theory and practice, either the hours that a teacher works is exactly the same or someone suffers. Rena Honey, president of Alliance AFT, the association representing Dallas ISD teachers, says the state should allow districts the freedom to make the decision for themselves. But she says she would have serious reservations about the model for large urban districts. Not only are you looking at instructional minutes, if the students are not in school on Fridays, that means that parents have to have someone to take care of the younger kids for sure. As a former teacher, Honey says a longer school day would be tough on younger students. That's a long time for them to be up and engaged. And there are also students with special needs districts need to consider. They need a lot of consistency, a lot of repetition, and when their routines are, are messed with, it causes issues for them. Honey says the real solution to the so-called teacher shortage is giving teachers what they need to be effective. Treat them with dignity and with respect. Don't overcrowd their classrooms. Give them the materials and the supplies they need to do their job and do it well. Dr. Sloan says better pay would go further than longer weekends. Traditionally, teachers have been paid far less than other jobs requiring a college degree and certification. Currently in the U.S., teachers hold three of the top 10 lowest salaries after obtaining a bachelor's degree. 